So before moving on to uh, the actual substance of uh, the the next theorems, uh, which are about transfinite recursion, I want to stop, make some comments, and give an example to help kind of motivate everything. So the first thing that I want to point out is that uh, we've already seen the theorem about transfinite induction, but uh, uh, it might seem mysterious, and so I want to, uh, you know, s s possibly uh, give it some context by saying that whenever you use induction, well, you're proving something. And that's, by the way, how it's different from recursion. Recursion is usually what we use uh, to, you know, step by step build something up, define some object like a function or a set or what have you. But when you're proving something by induction, typically what you're doing is in fact uh, showing that a certain subset of the natural numbers, which satisfies some formula, is in fact all of the natural numbers. So if you think about the example that the sum from 1 to n uh, is equal to n times n plus 1 over 2, when you prove that by induction, you start off thinking about the subset of natural numbers such that uh, they satisfy the formula, the sum from 1 to n equals n n plus 1 over 2. And the proof by induction demonstrates that in fact this subset is the whole set of natural numbers. Thus it holds for all n. So that's a comment on the uh, transfinite in induction and why you would, you know, when, when we do it with transfinite induction, actually, because that's just regular induction with transfinite induction, you are just replacing n with uh, some other ordinal if you need to have a larger uh, sort of class of things that you, uh, you want this to hold for. And, uh, and therefore, you have this extra little condition that is needed in case your ordinal is some limit ordinal greater than n. So that's a comment on transfinite induction. Now for an example about transfinite recursion, uh, let's talk about this claim, this theorem, to illustrate and motivate the definition that for there exists some set k of points in the plane such that for any line in the plane, it intersects k in precisely two places. Now, first notice that almost any set that comes to mind does not have this property. This is a weird set, but we can prove that it exists by transfinite. Uh, we can build it up by transfinite recursion. Now, the reason we need to use transfinite recursion is that we're going to build it up by thinking about any line, picking two arbitrary points, and then finding some other line and picking two points we have not yet picked and so on. But in order for this argument to be successful, you need to index over all possible lines. And that set does not have size the natural numbers. So you can't put the two into a one-to-one -one correspondence. So in fact, you need transfinite uh, uh, recursion to accomplish this. And so once we realize that, well, then uh, define a sequence of sets uh, so that this is like a mapping from the uh, ordinals less than whichever one, uh, you know, I'm calling J the ordinal that uh, orders the set of all lines. Uh, the fact that such a J exists is a substantial fact. You'd have to get it from uh, von Neumann's well-ordering principle or something like that. But um, so, so I assume that this ordinal exists, and I am certain it is larger than n, although the rest of the details we may have to fill in later once we know more about uh, well, the well-ordering principles and things like that. I think that's the principle that I should be talking about. I might be wrong about that. But in any case, if we assume such an ordinal exists, then we... Uh, uh, you know, define the zeroth case and what we do for uh, 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 successor ordinals and other limited ordinals and so 